goodness. I don't, I, for, for, for the folks that are members here, this is this is nothing new. We try to move on. We try, but God's presence is all over. Us. So if, if, if we're in the middle of whatever, and you feel like praising and running and jumping, and shouting, give me a thank you. I don't care. This is not church as usual. We are going to attempt to right now attempt. We're going to we are going to attempt to right now. Yeah, that's right. Hallelujah, brother. That's right. That's right. I don't I don't know about I some some men and women of God think it's their moment to shine. When I'm on my way here, I say, Lord, get me out of the way. Get me out of the way. Shut me up, Lord. Fill me up. Use me even in spite of me. Do you not know that the very seat you're sitting in has been prayed on all of you? Do you not know that these walls have been fingerprints and DNA of, of worshipers all over. So brace yourself because the man of God is in the building. But more important, but more important, God is in the building. Dr. Jamal Bryant, hallelujah, thank you Jesus. Come on y'all can do better than that. Would you clap your hands and give God a hand clap of praise? Would you take your neighbor by the hand? Take your neighbor by the hand, stretch it out even across the aisles. Hallelujah. Thank you, sir. Just good. Amen. With his hand you're holding, would you just look at him and tell him something better has had it, has gotta happen for you? Hallelujah. Something better has gotta happen for you. I believe that I'm coming tonight. I'm coming tonight is not by accident. But I believe that God has something better as we go into 2010. I'm a product of prayer. And I understand that where it is that we are today is simply because of the power of prayer. Because somebody prayed for us. I want us to just take one moment and infiltrate the atmosphere with the power of prayer. All over this room, you are assigned to the person whose hand you're holding. And for just one moment, I want you to pray that the Lord will bless them as they go into the new year. All heads are bowed. All eyes are closed. Would you just open up your mouth and pray for your neighbor even right now? Come on, would you pray for them that God would bless them as we go into the new year? That God would exceed their expectation. That God would meet the need. That he'll do exceedingly abundantly. Beyond what you can think, dream, hope, or imagine. Come on, open up your mouth and begin to pray. Come on, I can't hear nobody. I dare you to pray for your neighbor. Pray that their bills are going to get paid. Pray that God is restoring health to their body. Pray that God is strengthening their family. Pray that the Lord is anointing their head with oil. Come on and pray for your neighbor tonight. Hallelujah. You only got 30 seconds left. I want you to pray for them like you expect something. Like you're believing God for something. He's able to Would you loose those hands 